this here. Like a nice jacuzzi of goodness in there. Finally trying my first bite here. Let me try to bring it up a little bit. See me. Ooh, it's like it's hot. Building my YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Wanna say hi to him? Quick. Hello. <laughs> Building my YouTube. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Chi here. And today we are at Hot Pot World Rotary. You can get your individual hot pot where you can cook your own food. We have a bunch of like vegetables that's going right behind you. We got noodles, we got meat, and they're all price level. It's kind of if you've been to like a sushi conveyor belt where you could pick a plate. First time doing hot pot, I've always been interested in Oh, here's a hot pot. So we got the noodles coming by me. Um, we got egg noodle, udon noodle, vermicelli noodle. Yeah, I'm, I'm confused on what to get. Oh, there's fortune cookie. Does fortune cookie good in a hot pot? You tell me. Comment below if fortune cookie is good in a hot pot. I got the menu and the prices. So I'm looking down. We got blue is two dollars, green is three fifty, red is four fifty, and yellow is five fifty. My soup is super boiling. I better turn it off, maybe, so it don't over burn itself. It looks delicious though. Hmm. So we got egg noodle or odon. Maybe I should try some odon. How about that? Let's go for some odon. I'll grab this. <laughs> drop it in there, just like that. So I drop my plate. The blue one is here. So this is two dollar plate. Maybe I should turn it back on. Okay, now I'm reboiling my food. I got my udon noodles going in there. I should have turned that off. Now it's not boiling anymore. Ooh, I know what I'm gonna get. I'm gonna do beef tripe. Yeah, let's do some beef tripe. Grabbing some beef tripe. Here we go. Take a look at this. Beef tripe. And I'm just gonna dump this bad boy into my soup like this. Alright, that looks good. So let's get some bok choy. That sounds pretty good. Got this one. Doing okay? Yeah, doing good, thank you. And okay, now we got bok choy going in the pot. You too? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the waiter asked if I was YouTube. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and we're stirring this guy here. Oh, that's looking pretty good. I got tripe bok choy, udon noodles, but I think I need another component, like uh, a beef component. Here it comes. Uh, let's just go out. Let's just enjoy and get some, some different things. Let's just make a crazy, crazy soup. Hmm. Oh, here comes the meat. Yeah, definitely gonna go for the meat right now. I gotta find out which one has a lot of meat. Ooh, I think I know which one. Yep. Gonna go for... Who's gonna come home? Yeah, 
There you go. I got the meat here. So this one is $5.50 also. Whoa. Stacking up the prices here. Okay. And I drop this meat into here. Come out. Oh, there we go. Ooh, that's looking pretty good. Okay. That's boiling. So here's my damage so far. Yellow, red, blue. So the soup is boiling something fierce right now. I think that's the reason why it's called a hot pot. Hot pot! It's like a nice jacuzzi of goodness in there. Alright, I'm about to put some in my bowl and let's try this stuff out. Yeah, that's a hot pot. Boiled my fingers off. Okay, I'm gonna finally try my first bite here. Let me try to bring it up a little bit. See me. Ooh, it's like it's hot. Oh my god. Oh god, so good. There's so much flavor in the broth. And he's right. He said it's the American spice. Hot. The kimchi is not even hot at all. So you have your own like spice on the side. I'll show you on that spice rack. Spicy. Non spicy. Chili oil and soy sauce. Mm. The noodles so soft. The flavor, full of flavor. And then the kimchi is like, it's a real slight, you know, like not overpowering kimchi. It's actually a perfect taste for kimchi. Mm. Wow. Okay, we got some of this beef here. Hopefully you can hear me. I don't have my lapel mic on, so I'm just using my mic here. So let's try this. See that? Some meat here. The blowing is kind of hot. Oh my god. The meat is super tender. It's like a, when you cook, you put the raw meat like in pho and it cooks itself in the boiling pot. But it's very tender, very soft, full of flavor in the beef. And this broth is just unbelievable. Mm. Let's try to taste some of this broth here. Oh man. The broth has a little bit of a sour component, which is the kimchi. But it's not overpowering, like I said. Some kimchi is very pungent. And it has a little bit of like sourness, like it kind of feels rotten. But no, this one is, it's fresh. Mm. Unbelievable. Okay. You know me, I'm a very messy eater, so my whole table is all full of soup. But hey, can't blame me for eating some good stuff, right? Mm. I'm glad I wore a short sleeve, but it's getting kind of hot. I gotta unbutton this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this perfect time for the winter. When it starts getting cold. I could imagine this place being packed. 
Yeah, that was so good. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna start choosing a little bit more. Let's see what I can come up with. Okay, I found my first victim. Tofu. You guys like tofu out there? I like tofu. Let's go ahead and put it in the mix. Ooh. That was a good dunk right in there. This is a $2 plate. All right, I'm gonna look and see what I could else. Look what else. I'm gonna see what else I could add to this new broth, new boiling cauldron of goodness. I feel like a witch. You know what? I'm gonna do clams. Let's do some clams. Here you go. I got some clams. And this is $3.50. Got some manila clams here. I'm gonna go ahead and dunk it into the cauldron. Okay, that's stacking up. Maybe I need some uh, noodles now. I'm gonna try something else. Cellophane. Uh, there's an egg noodle. What else do they have? Vermicelli. That's only good. I like it with vermicelli itself. So let's try the egg noodle. Yeah, let's go for the egg noodle. Come to Papa. Put my napkin here. All right, here's the egg noodle. Egg noodle here. And we're gonna dump it into the cauldron. The boiling cauldron of goodness. Here we go. Yeah, it's good. It's nice and boiling. Let's go ahead and uh, scoop this up and let's have a meal. All right, so here's my new concoction. We got the tofu, got the clam, we got the noodles here. Let's go ahead and give this a try. Hopefully you can't hear the music, but it's Whitney Houston playing in the background. It's copyright, so hopefully you don't hear that. Okay, noodle. Mm. Wow. Wow, the rice noodle is delicious. Very, it's like delicate, but it gives you a whole mouthful of noodles. That makes sense? It's like... Mm. I believe it's like an egg noodle. Wow, beautiful. Okay, now let's try some of this... Uh, tofu. Hopefully I don't burn my mouth. This is pretty hot. Mm. Think about tofu, it's like egg. Egg consistency, but very light, very nice. Mm. Wow. Oh, I just hit my knee. Yeah, I just hit my knee. <laughs> oh, that hurt. Okay. Less painful, less being in pain, and less more eating. Okay, I'm gonna get some of my noodles. I'm gonna dip it in some of my sauce here. Let's go with a chili sauce. Some of the chili oil. <coughs> I inhaled some of that chili. <laughs> Not a way to go. 
chili down the windpipes. Ooh, that hurts. Hurts so good though. <laughs> Some more chocolate. Mm. Delicious. Let's try some of this clam here. It's kind of hot. Ooh. I don't know how I'm going to eat this. Thing. Mm. Full of flavors. Of course, you know what a clam tastes like. But. Just having the broth and all the other other mix of like the beef and everything earlier, it just continues to cook in itself and the, the flavor just changes. It's pretty unique. Mm. I normally like eat pho. Uh, you know, or go to like a salmon, 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 ramen place or Simon place. Totally different. I'm a fan. And this whole concept of this conveyor belt thing, absolutely genius. Whoever thought about this, you guys, that's a pretty good idea. Who would never thought that a conveyor belt, everyone thinks about the sushi conveyor belt. But just having stuff like this just continually coming right behind me, all over, around me. Amazing. Good job, guys. Mm. Ooh, that broth just get, keeps getting better and better. Now it took on a seafood component. Absolutely delicious. Thank you. Thank you for the chefs, the cooks, the wait staff. You guys made this possible. So the final verdict of Hot Pot. First time I wanted to try it, I felt intimidated because you had this huge cauldron of boiling different soups and they have like meat laid out and I didn't know how to build it or what you to do so this is a pretty good intro on something that you want to try yourself I suggest you come in here to this conveyor belt again this is the place hot pot world rotary you got the menu here and you have so many different kind of broths you could try we have pork broth chicken broth Beef broth, vegetable broth, fermented fish, kimchi broth, Szechuan broth. They said that the Szechuan broth is the hottest, about five stars. And then the fermented fish, uh, tom yum, and kimchi broth. I think I left the tom yum out. But those are like, I think, two stars? But he said it's an American style. So if you're not really good in heat, it's not really hot at all. That's why you have your own chili and everything else you could add to your broth to kick it up and make it a little spicier if you like. So, I'm gonna show you my damage. And I think that would be it. Okay, time to pay the piper. I got it. I got it again. So what? Nah, I, 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 already, I already calculated it. Me too? Yeah, I got it. Everything? Yeah. Are you sure? You yeah, I got Vanessa? it. Yeah, I got it. Okay, I'll pay it up and we'll be gone. <laughs> I'm building my YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Wanna say hi to you? Quick. Hello. <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> Everybody doing YouTube these days. Huh? Yeah, wow. it's fun. <laughs> yeah, 
first time here, it's pretty cool. Yeah, thank you. So you have three broad, eleven blue, two green, one red, and three yellow. Seventy-six, fifty-two for your board. Just up there. Right there. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Okay, thank you. All right, everything paid. Boom. Thanks, Guya. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you to all my subscribers. Once again. So we'll have another appetite encounter soon. Please stay tuned. And again, we're out of here. Bye.